name is Hercule Poirot, and I am probably the greatest detective in the world. In the movie Murder on the Orient Express, a famed detective has just finished solving a fairly problematic crime, and he's hoping to have a bit of vacation while heading back to Britain. So he books passage on the luxurious train, the Orient Express. Avenger of the Innocent. Is that what they told you in the papers? And you are innocent? Huh. <laughs> You're fun. His fellow passengers, however, are a suspicious looking lot, including an American gangster, a professor with Nazi sympathies, a widow with devious things dancing in her eyes, and many, many more. Of course, in this detective's experience, when you have a suspicious looking lot, something bad is usually not far behind. A passenger has died. He was murdered. And after a fatal stabbing of one of the most notoriously despicable characters on the train, the inspector must end his vacation and find the killer. What did you think of the dead man? You leave her out of this. Did he have enemies? Pick a number. But how do you pinpoint a person in the wrong when every person around you has secrets to hide and lies on their lips? This remake of an Agatha Christie classic murder mystery movie is packed with colorful characters, and it struggles with right and wrong while weighing the balance of justice. There is, of course, a murder on hand, and that involves a bit of bloodiness, some rough language, and a few sensual winks. So I'm giving Murder on the Orient Express three avalanches out of five for family friendliness. For more on this film, be sure to check out PluggedIn.com. Plugging you into the movies. I'm Bob Olszewski for Focus on the Families, plugged in, movie review.